All right, we're going to mix things up a little bit here. After the St. Francis Hospital feature, we're going to get Jen's reaction because we put a wireless microphone on you for your trip to New Hampshire. So what you say can and will be used against you as we watch right here. So let's make it about their team not reaching the 50-point mark, okay? Let's go. Come on, ladies. Let's get after it right here. Let's get our, our last road win of the first time through. Come on. Let's go together on three. One, two, three. Together. One, two, one, go, one, one, soul. Ready to rock, got it, ready to roll. Sip again now. Race six, game time, baby. Whatever it takes. Let's get the tip, and let's make sure we're good on defense right here. Let's go play as a team on both ends. Defense, one, two, three. Defense. Good, 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 good. Hands are off, hands are off. Rematch, rematch. This Hawk story was brought to you by St. Francis Hospital and Medical Center. All right, now a few things jump out. One, it must be impossible to get your players' attention sometimes. Everybody's named Hay, yes. and, and that must be the most frustrating thing because you're trying to get their attention. They're in their own world, right? Yeah. So that's a hard well, thing. they're focused on what's going on. They might be on the other end of the floor, and maybe there's music playing or their crowd is, is loud. But um, I think sometimes they just, you know, zone me out on purpose or <laughs> pretend that they're not hearing me. But it is sometimes, especially at home when it's really loud in our gym, it's really hard sometimes when they're on the other end of the floor to get them to, to, to look over when I want to talk to somebody or call a play out. And it's funny too, it seems things happen so quickly in a game. You've, you've prepped so much, you've gone through things and walked through and, and practice, but it seems like sometimes it's all thrown out the window right away and you're, you're changing things on the fly and you're, and you're coaching players individually play by play sometimes. Yeah. I mean, basically for a game, most of your preparation is, is before it, you know, what you do in practice and how you scout them and what your game plan is. But there's a lot, I think, the better coaches know how to also coach a lot during the game and adjust during the game. And that's something I've had to really learn through my 10 years of coaching is that you got to be able to adjust on the fly. You, sometimes you throw your game plan out the window and you come up with something else. But it's also about recruiting kids who understand how to make adjustments, how to guard people and how to take what they see on the board when I write it or what we show them on video and then physically do it on the court. And that's not always easy. And our kids have gotten really good at that. Well, that's it. This is the final edition of Hartford Talks basketball with Jen Rosati for this season. It's been a pleasure to be with you yes, and telling the stories too. of your uh, student athletes and yeah. your team. And best of luck Thank the you. rest of the way. Thank you very much. Bring back another championship yes. to Hartford. All right. For Jen and our crew, I'm Eric Free. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.